I think those bailouts were absolutely required to save your civilization and to give you the best chances of solving the housing and student loan and other problems. I think that was absolutely required. And we were lucky that both administrations were as wise and bold as they were. So I think you, you shouldn't resent that. You should thank God they did it. And I, I think if you understand the system and the dangers it was in, you would recognize that that's the least of that. That was your blessing. What, what would have happened potentially? We don't know, but it could have been awful. I don't even want to think about how awful it could have been. And it is not completely crazy. The Germans were pretty civilized people. I always point out that Albert Einstein got a highly subsidized primary school education in Germany from the Catholic Church. This whole primary institution of little Albert Einstein was subsidized by the Catholic Church. That is a pretty civilized place. And we ended up with Adolf Hitler. Get the economy with enough misery, get enough disruption, destroy the currency. God knows what happens. So I think when you've got troubles like that, you shouldn't be bitching about a little bailout. You should have been thinking it should have been bigger. I mean, those people were working for you, and they were in both parties. They were a credit to both of us that, 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 that all that happened. And now if you talk about bailouts for everybody else, there comes a place where if you just start bailing out all the individuals instead of helping to adapt, that the culture dies. I don't know where it is. But at a certain place, you've got to say to the people, suck it in and cope, buddy. Suck it in and cope. And in the 30s with my family, as these families would move into the same house, and they'd wear the same clothes for a while, and they, you know, just, they coped. And, and that was part of how the civilization got through. We do not want a civilization where, with every hardship, we go to the government and say, give me some money. The world's not what I expected. So I think there's danger in just shoveling out money too much on the, the people who say, my life is a little harder than it used to be. Of course, it's a little harder than it used to be. This is normal, worldly life. And I think it is very dangerous to assume that, that, that what people did to save the whole banking system was wrong, and that it is clearly right to shovel out a lot of money to people who are now short of money. Uh, I think we come to a place where, we, where everybody has to suck it in and cope.